Thanks for joining us for a video demonstration of how to connect your HDMI to AV converter made by Blyden. The first thing to note is that this video is specific to the V5 version of the HDMI to AV converter. On the back of the box, you'll see a V5. There's also a V5 on the edge of the box. If you see that, you're using the same version that we're using in this video. All right, let's go ahead and open up the box. When you slide out the plastic tray, you'll see three components, basically the HDMI to AV converter itself, a power adapter, and a composite video and audio cable. First, let's get that red, yellow, white cable, and we'll pull that out, unwrap it, and we'll connect that to the HDMI to AV converter. It's color-coded, so just match the colors up, and you'll be all set. The other end of that cable goes to the television, so your television should have on it red, yellow, and white. That's the only way this adapter works, is with red, yellow, and white inputs. And make sure they're inputs, not outputs. An important note here is that usually at the input, there's a name for the input. On our TV, it's called a video input. Sometimes it's called video, sometimes it's called composite. Anyway, if you remember that name, it may help you later on when we're setting up the TV. Okay, now that you've got the composite cable connected to both the television and the adapter, let's go ahead and connect the power adapter to the HDMI to AV converter. So unwrap that. It's got a small USB connector on there. It only fits one place on the adapter, and it only fits one way. Get that in there nice and tight. While you have that connection there, go ahead and check your NTSC PAL switch. That needs to be in the NTSC position. It will not work in the US in the PAL position. So you might just triple check that that's in the NTSC position. All right, the other end of that adapter obviously plugs into your power strip. Once you've plugged that power adapter in, you'll get a nice red light on there. And then go ahead and take your video adapter and toggle that NTSC PAL switch to PAL and back to NTSC. And then you should get bars on your TV. If you don't see the color bars at this point, flip your switch back to PAL and back to NTSC. You should only have to do this once. Once you have the color bars, that means that your adapter is properly connected to your television. At this point, if you don't see color bars, go ahead and grab your TV's remote and make sure that it's set to the right source. So on our remote, we have a source button right up there at the top. Most TVs will have a source or an input button, and that's how you tell the TV which port to listen to. So go ahead and hit your source button and toggle through the available sources looking for the one that matched that name on the back of your TV where you plugged in the red, yellow, white cables. One additional note is that our adapter works with the composite video input and not the component video input. If your TV has a component input, like this one here, red, green, and blue, that will not work with our adapter. You have to be using the yellow video input that works with the red and white audio inputs. All right, now that we have the bars on the TV and we're confirming that the Blyden HDMI to AV converter is set up properly, it's time to go ahead and attach the Google Chromecast. So the Chromecast that we will use today looks like this. There are other versions of the Google Chromecast. Here's the Chromecast Ultra, and there are other versions out there still. They all work and set up exactly the same way. So we'll take our Google Chromecast actual Chromecast item and take it's got an HDMI port sticking out that goes into the HDMI input on the Blyden to AV converter. Next we'll take the USB power cable that came with the Chromecast using the small USB end we'll connect that into the Chromecast it only goes one way. The larger end of the USB cable goes into the small power brick that came with your Chromecast again only goes in one way and then you can plug that into your power source. All right, most of the bricks that come with the Chromecast do not have lights on them, but there is a small light on the Chromecast itself. That's either flashing or solid. That means you're making progress. And then you'll see your Chromecast start up on your TV and you're basically all set. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any further questions or need for further tech support, please visit our website at www.blyden.com slash help. That's B-L-E-I-D-E-N dot com slash help. Or feel free to email us at support at blyden.com. 
please be as descriptive as possible in the email. The more information you give us, the faster we can help you. Thank you.